Welcome back to the weekly Medrash, Parshas Truma. The Pasuk says, V'zos ha-truma asher tichu me'itam zav v'chesef l'nechoshes. And this is the donation that you will bring from the Jewish people, from them, me'itam, gold, silver, and copper. Amarav tivyomi b'shah she'egi azmano shal Yaakov avinu lipater mina olam karlavan av Yaakov avinu is about to die. He calls his children around his bed, Amar Laham, and he says to them, Heyu yodim she'akadosh baruchu asid lomar livnechem la'asos mishkan. God is going to ask your children to build a tabernacle. Eliyu kol tzrach al-muchanam b'yedchem, shenemar v'aya lokim imachem. Make sure that they have all the parts, all the necessary ingredients, the gold, the silver, the copper, the wood. Make sure that they are ready to build that Mishkan when the time comes. The Medrash goes on to describe Kishabah Moshe Vasu Mishkan Yesh Mehem Sheviu Ma'atzman Yesh Men Shalohiviu El Mimasha Yumunach Biyado. There were Jews who brought it from themselves, and there are those who had it sitting from the time that Yaakov assigned his children to prepare the ingredients, as it says, Vakol Ish Asher Nimtza Ito Tcheles Ve'argaman. There were people who had Tcheles sitting around, Argaman. There are people who had atzei shitim. There were people who had with them the acacia wood, the cedar wood. And there are people who didn't, and they had to go hunt it down. The Madrash is describing with this notion that Yaakov instructed his children to prepare for the eventuality of building a mishkan, even though it wasn't there, is that there are two types of people. There are people who dream their whole lives for the moment that something great is going to happen. And they prepare for it. And they put aside funds and they put aside the necessary parts that they will need to make that mishkan a reality. And then there are people who say, when the geula comes, I will be redeemed. When I get to the bridge, I'll cross it, I'll cross the bridge. When I arrive there, that type of idea certainly works. But the Madrash says there's a higher mentality. We're building the Mishkan in the time of Moshe, but we're also building the Mishkan in the time of Yaakov, long before the Jewish people are living in their land. They're in Gullus, they're in Mitzrayim, and they're dreaming about a Mishkan, and they plant the seeds, and they prepare, and they have a suitcase under their bed, and they have a passport ready. Not because they're afraid, but because they're thinking every day. I could get to that bridge. Every day, it's possible that the dream that we've been thinking about for my whole life and for thousands of years will become a reality maybe today and maybe tomorrow. And I ought to be ready for that. These two approaches are hinted to in our Medrash. When the Pasuk says, Take from yourself, it means that you had it ready. Are we ready? Are we ready for the next big binion in our lives? Are we prepared for the next redemption that's necessary? Not just our 401k, not just are we putting aside finances for the future, but for the future redemption, the spiritual steps we need to take to advance our cause, both individually, as a family, as a nation, as a people. Are we ready for that? Are we planting the seeds? Are we prepared?